Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is uh, evening prayer for Sunday, October the 4th. It's the 19th Sunday after Pentecost and week 7 in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 145, Luke chapter 7, verse 11 to 17. And a canticle from 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 1 through 10. And please join me in singing the second verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of Your Nobis. Our God is great above all gods, the ruler of creation. In your hands are all the earth, and seas for you have made them. <clears throat> o oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, I exalt you, my God, my ruler, and I bless your name forever and ever. Alleluia. Psalm 145, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, I exalt you, my God, my ruler, and I bless your name forever and ever. Every day I bless you, and I praise your name forever and ever. Great are you, my God, and greatly to be praised, and your glory is awesome. One generation shall tell your works to the next, and declare your mighty deeds. I speak of the glorious honor of your majesty, and of your wondrous works, and peoples shall speak of your terrible acts and I will declare your greatness. They shall publish the memory of your great goodness and shall sing of your righteousness. You are gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great loving kindness. You are good to all, and your tender mercies are over all your works. All your works shall praise you, and your saints shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your reign, and talk of your power, to make known to the people your mighty acts, and the glory of your strength. Your dominion is an everlasting dominion, and your strength endures from one generation to the next. You uphold all that fall, and raise all that are bowed down. The eyes of the people wait upon you, and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand, and you sate the desire of every living thing. You are righteous in all your ways and holy in all your works. You are close to all that call upon you, to all that call upon you in truth. You will fulfill the desires of those who fear you. You hear their cry and save them. You preserve all who love you, but all the wicked will you destroy. My mouth shall speak your praise. Let all flesh bless your holy name forever and ever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I exalt you, my God, my ruler, and I bless your name forever and ever. Alleluia. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Chapter 7, beginning at verse 11. Now soon afterwards, Jesus went to a town called Nain, and his disciples in a large crowd went with him. As he approached the gate of the town, a man who had died was being carried out, and he was his mother's only son, and she a widow. And with her was a large crowd from the town. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion for her, and he said to her, Do not weep. Then he came forward and touched the bier, and the bearer stood still. And he said, Young man, I say to you, rise. The dead man sat up and began to speak, and Jesus gave him to his mother. And fear seized all of them, and they glorified God, saying, A great prophet has risen among us, and God has looked favorably on his people. 
This word about Jesus spread throughout Judea and all the surrounding country. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions. Please say the response after each verse. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety. Make us a righteous nation that keeps your truth, that we may glory in your judgment. Let your way be known upon the earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be always forgotten, nor the hope of the poor perish forever. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and renew a right spirit within us and for all of your intentions. Together. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And let's say the canticle together. Alleluia, my heart rejoices in God most high. My strength is exalted in God my Savior. You alone are holy, there is no God besides you. There is no rock like our God. Brag no more, stop your arrogant talk. For the Most High is a God of knowledge, and by God actions are weighed. The bows of the mighty are broken, and they that stumbled are girded with strength. They that were full have hired out themselves for bread, and they that were hungry are fat with spoil. The barren has borne seven, and she that has many children is forlorn. O God, you kill and you bring to life. You bring down to the grave and you raise up. You make the poor and you make the rich. You bring down and you exalt. You raise the poor out of the dust and you lift the beggar from the dunghill to set them among the leaders and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are yours, and you have set the world upon them. You will guard the feet of your saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness. For by strength alone shall no one prevail. Your adversaries shall be broken to pieces. Out of heaven you shall thunder upon them. You shall judge the ends of the earth, and exalt the strength of your anointed. Glory to you, source of all being eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.